Guys, let me sort of show you what the house looks like. Do your legs hurt? Do you hurt? <laughs> Katie's boyfriend is actually going to the prom with another girl. Oh, oh, my final art project. This is, I couldn't wait to ask you. Hey, Dad. Hello. Good morning, Ryan. Hello. Hello. You ready for school? Yes. I cannot believe how tall you are. Will you stand over here? Because I really think that you've even grown since the last time we did it. What is it? Is this you? Is yeah, that I think that was me right there. Is this B? Oh, no, that's B up there. Oh. I was right there. We didn't mark it, though. Oh. Okay, can you stand there one more time? I know you've got sneakers on, but you're like, I just can't believe how tall you are. Okay, this is you now. <laughs> You're up here. You're up here. Oh, and that can't be the difference in shoes. Like, do your legs hurt? Do you hurt? Because <laughs> you're, like, growing. Not really. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll officially bark it when we get back. You guys, we are out of our house for a week. How exciting is that? So, <laughs> it's not exciting? All right. It's, let me see what I look like before I decide if I'm going to film myself. Oh, it's a, it's a little early. Thank you. <laughs> so, fine. thank you. Early in the morning, Brennan's, uh, Ryan's on his way to school. So, this is the deal. You guys know um, we have the Naval Academy is near us, and we have midshipmen that we sponsor and everything. Well, when commissioning week comes around, which is the week that the Naval Academy people graduate and they become officers, all the families from around the world and around the country come to celebrate graduation or commissioning week. And it's a tradition that local um, people, people that live locally um, give up their houses for the families to come in to stay and celebrate. So we've been doing this for years. Uh, we did not do it last year because there was no graduation for COVID, but we've been doing this for a very long time. So we're doing it again. And we usually take this time and we go to visit my sister in New Jersey and our family in New Jersey because um, she's at the beach and we just go to the beach, so it's really nice. In the past, though, sometimes, the first year we did it, actually, we went to California and spent a week in California. It's when the kids were young and they could miss school. And then we've been, like, on vacation different times, but um, mostly we go to New Jersey, so that's what we're doing this time. So we are busily packing up our house and packing up our clothes and everything and trying to get ready to um, get our house ready for the family, the Navy family. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Little kitties are getting ready. They're gonna go to camp. We have kitty camp they're gonna go to. I hope it works out for them. I think they're gonna like it. They've been there before, so I think they're gonna be okay. And Ryan's eating his Frosted Flakes. Look at that. That's a fancy Frosted Flakes. Mike brought that home from uh, his work trip. I love it. All right, are you guys ready to pack up? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we've got Brady here <laughs> and no, Brennan. And if you have watched some of the old uh, videos from a couple days ago, so they're getting ready to go to their prom, which is tomorrow. And Brady has his... Katie's actually in class right now. No, I'm not. I just left. Oh, like, you did? This is my, this oh, is my final art project. Oh, yeah. It's paper clips. Yeah. It's beautiful, Kate, it's with a little mirror inside. Anyway, so Brady has yet to ask his date to go to the prom, and it's tomorrow. <laughs> so nothing like being last minute. Do you want to show us your um, yeah, poster so far? Yeah, it's because... Yeah, it's kind of Yeah. <laughs> I obviously could wait because I spent the money. It's because I couldn't wait to ask you, bro. Yeah, it looks good. It's not finished, but it's good. You see, she likes going to the gym, so that's why it's wait like a wait. Katie made it, right? Did no, you I make didn't. It? Mara did. Oh, Mara, Mara did. did. Oh, very good. Um, okay. The Y is the Y logo. Like the Y yeah, it was. Yeah. That's yeah. Idea. Good idea. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But could you put... Mm, Take out the and I could wait to ask you, or I did wait to ask you, but I really want to go with you. How about that? <laughs> so Brady doesn't mom. have, doesn't. Silly mom. Are you laughing at my laugh? Oh my gosh, my laugh. Oh, no, your laugh. Your laugh is cute. Oh. Don't let anyone tell you different. Thank you. So Brady, you don't have your clothes yet either. Is that right? Well, I have like what I'm gonna wear figured out, but like I had some like adjustments on the suit and pants, but. I don't know if there are any shoes, but I'm going to go. Yeah, and I don't even have shoes. Or a tie or like a handkerchief. So. Okay. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. Figure it out. We'll now, what, what color is your date wearing? Navy blue as well. Oh, perfect. So okay. What do you need as well? Like 
she's wearing navy blue as well. <laughs> and are you she's wearing a navy, navy blue, blue suit? No, yeah, like she's wearing navy blue. Like we didn't coordinate this, but it just happened to be that way. But oh. if, but if you didn't coordinate it, you probably should coordinate it, even if it wasn't like original, like you know. Can you? Do I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he's got a lot to think about. He hasn't even asked her yet. So can you hold on the coordinating yeah, outfits? She literally, she literally thinks she's the. Uh, Something master. Puppet master? The general master. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Uh, the master sergeant. The like the, the, the yes. Master chief. Katie's like, master yes. Chief. Or the um, pulling the strings. She's the puppet master behind the yeah. behind the stage pulling the strings. Okay, so you guys, did you order a corsage? No. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to go do that today. Do you want me to order one for you today, too? Could I still, like, get it? I thought that was something you needed to order. Like, no, it, if you go to the grocery store, they'll do it next day. Oh, that's what. Yeah. You do that yeah. Who's a uh, backpack? Oh, yeah. Who's a bag is that? I mean, you can do that for me. Okay, I'm happy to. I'll do one for Brady and one for Brennan. Is that good? Okay, all right, excellent. You guys can probably pick them up together. You'll be yeah, running what around. What kind of baby blue is that? It's not baby blue, it's navy blue. I said navy blue. Oh, it's like navy blue. Really dark navy blue. Like it's, it almost looks like gray in a sense that it's like so navy blue. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm I got it. You guys are doomed. I got you. Exactly. You guys are too. Sure yeah, that would help. That would help. Show me a picture. Okay, that's perfect. So I'll be at pictures too. So you guys stay tuned. If you uh, want to see tomorrow's prom, I'm so excited. We'll take pictures and you can see Brady and his date, Brennan and his date, and Katie will be there. So funny thing, <laughs> Katie's boyfriend is actually going to the prom with another girl. So that's a little confusing. What? Don't make it sound bad. <laughs> Him, him and a really good friend, really good friend Grace. They've been planning on going to prom together since like freshman year, so it's. And she's a really good friend of Katie's. Yeah, too, so Katie's so a little salty, but. Uh, no, she's, she's not, not at all. <laughs> Grace called Katie's like, "Do you mind if Kate and I?" She's like, "Sure, that's great." I just need it so deep. It's really not that I think it's deep. funny. I think it's really funny. I know, it's cool. All right. All right, guys. So anyway, we're going to finish um, packing up. I got some stuff over here. Ryan's room is all packed. And we just have to have it clean. The, the, our, our cleaners are going to come in and clean it and make the beds and all that. And then Katie's room is next. we got to work on Katie's room. And we just have a few hours. So I've got a lot of work to do in here while she's at school. All right, so stay tuned. Find out how this day unfolds. It is definitely an interesting one and always, always exciting. Hey, guys. So I'm basically moving out of my room at the moment. It's a big feat we take on every year. Are you going to need these for your knee? No. Okay. Half of those are cheer shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's that. Alrighty. Um, got my TV ready for the people. Um, yeah, Kane's coming to get me so I can get out of their hair. We're going to stay at a hotel tonight. We're going to stay at a hotel. Nights. And then we're going to New Jersey with the family. Yay! So you'll see us at the hotel. Tomorrow is Brennan's prom, so he gets to go to the prom from the hotel, but he's spending the night at his friend's house. So it'll just be the four of us in the hotel, and he's going to... If I even explained to you the schedule, your head would pop off. Yeah, I don't so... even know the schedule, and I'm in it. Oh, so. my gosh. Just, just go where I tell you, Kate. Yes, ma'am. We'll so I have this bag, this stuffed animal, this bag, which I can't forget. Mom, I can't forget this bag. No, well, where are you going to put that? I don't know. I have no room for it. Can you put it with your um, suitcase? Is that in Dad's car? Where's my, where's my Gucci bag? Oh, it's in, the, in your closet still. No, it's not. I took it out. Oh, you did? There it is. That bag, this bag, this bag, and this bag. Hey, did you Okay. <laughs> hey, Katie. Yes, Mom. Will you do me a favor? Yes, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hello. <laughs> It's just us now. Ryan's at school, and Brennan is working out, mm -hmm. and Katie and I are in the house just waiting to go. Ooh. Except I'm about to be gone, too. I know. Mwah. Mom found my retainer. Uh, Let's bless her. Let's all bless her. Mom, I bless you for finding my retainer, um, and for many other reasons, and for being a great mom, but mostly for finding my retainer. <laughs> um, I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you. Amen. Amen. You're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. All right, you guys. Our house is all ready for our Naval Academy renters to come in. So I will show you. Actually, it's all ready except I have this to do. I still have to plant these little plants right here. I just got them today. So I'm going to plant those little flowers. But otherwise, let me sort of show you what the house looks like. So um, I'm really happy with it. It smells great. Hold on. Oh, all the lights are off. But 
It's all ready. We leave a little bottle of wine for them and some flowers and a little welcome booklet. So hopefully they will enjoy their time here. And congratulations to their Naval Academy midshipmen and all those midshipmen who are graduating and everybody who's graduating this year. Congratulations. It was not an easy year. It was a tough year. So good job for toughing it out. And I'm very proud of all of you. We have a graduate too. I'm so proud of him. All right, so let me just make sure everything is just so, and then I will skedaddle and we'll head over to the hotel. Oh, I have to take Edward too. I just took Alice to the um, kitty camp and now I get to take Edward. So um, Kate's gonna be picked up for practice. I'll explain all of where everybody is. Hopefully your head won't pop off. Well, this afternoon really didn't go as planned. Um, what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to get Edward and Alice and take them to kitty camp um, before five o'clock, which I've got plenty of time today to do that. Well, at kitty camp, they don't get to go outside like they do um, at home. So I wanted to let them play outside as long as they could, knowing that they would be at kitty camp inside for a few days. So I guess my better judgment, <laughs> I let them outside to play. Then when it came time for them to go to kitty camp, Alice came in, but Edward did not and camp is only open. They only receive kitties until 5 p.m. and it is now 519. So you can imagine I sweated it out. And our um, the people who are staying in our house showed up at four. Well, that's when they're supposed to check in, they check in at four. All right, I don't know where I let off, but I got a phone call and that was the kitty camp asking if Edward's, Edward was going to be there today. Cause again, they're only there till five, now it's 521. Anyway, long boring story short, and this is just typical for us, so I wanted to let the kitties play. I should have just put them in their little cages this morning and brought them over, but I didn't. So anyway, Alice came home in time. I got her over there around three. Edward did not, and um, the people running our house um, you know, checked in at four, so I had to say, hey, in case my kitty comes back, can you let me know so I can get him and um, take him where he needs to be. So now it's past that they're like, oh sure, they're, they're so fantastic. Oh yeah, absolutely, we'll keep an eye out for them. We'll let you know. So now it's 522, the place is closing. So I went to um, the pet store in um, anticipation of Edward not showing back up. And I got kitty litter and a kitty um, litter pan and food. And now I have to go to the store. I'm gonna get some little bowls for him to eat his food out of and drink his water. So he's gonna have to hang out with us. Um, I'm not sure that this hotel allows pets, so we might have to hide him. We'll probably just keep him in the bathroom with us. We'll play with him, of course, but, um, so it'll be an interesting situation. <laughs> the good news is I think our kitties are up for adventure as much as we are. So anyway, so I'm here at the hotel now, Ryan and Mike and Katie are in there. Brennan is over at his friend's house. So we're gonna um, hang out here for a bit and get some food. I know Katie has some homework to do. Tomorrow is Brennan's prom. So they went and picked up Brennan's um, stuff from the dry cleaners because he had it tailored and dry cleaned, his whole suit and everything. And uh, what else? And we ordered a boutonniere. I, or, I'm sorry, I ordered a corsage today. Uh, not a corsage, uh, yeah, like a wrist corsage for his date. And anyway, so it's been quite a day already and hang out with us to find out how this is gonna go. We will do a little hotel room tour too. All right, you guys, so bringing this story to an end, so guess what happened? Remember how I couldn't find Edward? Well, as it turns out, Mike and I went out to dinner and the people who are living in our house for this week texted us and said, hey, Edward came home. And so Edward just made himself at home in the house, of course, as he usually would. He didn't hide from anybody who was there. He let them pet him and everything. Jumped up in Katie's little hanging chair and fell asleep. So we just went and rescued him. Now, I shouldn't even say rescued <laughs> because he was enjoying his time and they are lovely, lovely people. Um, but we got him because we don't want them to have to feed him and all that stuff. So we have him in the car. He's back there. He's being such a good boy and we're taking him back to the hotel room. Katie is um, sleeping over at a friend's house. So is Ryan. Oh gosh, so is Brendan. Oh my goodness, this car is very close to us. Holy cow, he was really close to us. Close, yeah. Good job, Michael John. And we're taking um, Edward back to the hotel. Don't tell anyone we're sneaking him in the hotel because it's not a... <laughs> It's not a hotel that's supposed to take cats or dogs. But Mike said he thinks that one of our neighbors has a dog. Do you think that's true? Yes. What makes you say that? I saw the dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Going in the room? Uh, he was walking his dog outside. 
Really? Yeah. All right. He asked me what time it was. He did? Yeah. Did you say you're allowed to have a dog? No. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So anyway, so I'll show you when we get back in the room, I'll show you all the, like the litter and all that stuff that we just purchased for Edward so he could spend the night with us. And then tomorrow he'll go to a kitty camp with Alice. <laughs> And I talked to I talked to Kitty Camp today, and they said Alice is doing great. So thank goodness. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we made it back to the hotel. This is our hotel tour. It, there's really not much. There are two beds, and that's a sliding glass door because we're on the first floor. It goes right outside. There is our desk, our TV. I went and bought some cereal. Got honey bunches of oats today and cocoa pebbles, which I don't think my kids have ever, ever, ever eaten cocoa pebbles, but I feel like it's an adventure, so let's try some cocoa pebbles. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, so here's Edward. Hold on, let me turn the camera. He is such a trooper. Look at him. There's his food. He's got his water. He's got his litter box. He is all set to go, sweet boy. So sometimes it pays to not come home so you can just hang out with mom and dad a little bit longer, right? Poor Alice is over at kitty camp all by herself, but I'm sure she's having a great time. <laughs> Edward is totally chomping. He is hungry. Look at that. Hey, this sweet boy. Oh, and dad's using the litter box too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.